This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another juice off for you, but not just a regular juice off. This is this is the how much pulp is in the juice juice off. So we're gonna see because we have a measuring cup below each machine plus a strainer to catch all the pulp. So we're gonna see how much pulp comes out of each machine because you know one single criteria that may or may not be important to you is John, is there pulp in my juice? I mean, there's, there should be many different criteria that you might want to take into consideration when buying a juicer. One can be, you know, how much pulp is in the juice. One is, how loud is it? You know, another one could be, I want the highest quality juice, you know, the most nutrition. That's another aspect. Another aspect could be, how much does the juicer yield? I want a juicer that makes a high yield. Another aspect could be, you know, how much the juicer costs. Another aspect could be, how long is the warranty? So many different aspects and everybody has different criteria that's more important or less important to them. So today we're going to focus on the juice off, the pulp created, and also how much the yield is without the pulp. So that's going to be pretty interesting. So on this side we have the Omega Vert 330 HD. Now this is the heavy duty model and I only recommend the HD model whether it's the Vert 330 HD or the Omega Vert 350 HD and not the original uh, Vert 330. The original Vert 330 came with a standard white screen and that has been prone to uh, cracking. With the new upgraded screen, that has not been a problem. So over on this side, we have the Liquid Mini 110.5. Actually, this is our best-selling juicer in its price point. They all, both these machines actually have a 10-year warranty, so that's really impressive. So uh, this machine also uh, runs a little bit differently. This is at 80 RPMs. That's how fast it spins, 80 RPMs. This is called a vertical single auger style juicer. And this is a centrifugal ejection style juicer. It runs at 10,000 RPMs. So as you can imagine, juicing is probably going to be done a lot quicker in this machine. But the faster the juicer, the louder it is, plus the more oxidation that occurs to your juice. That doesn't mean that you know the juice made with this machine is no good because it's oxidized. No, it's completely fine. It's just not as good as maybe the juice made out of this machine. But in any case, the juice that you make at home is always better than the juice you'd buy at a store. So without further ado, let's get juicing. We're gonna go ahead and first start with the Liquid Mini 110.5, turn this machine on. And we're gonna just take these carrots and run them through the machine. Pulp comes out into the back of the machine and the juice is coming out the front. So far, so good. I'm not seeing any uh, you know, pulp getting caught into the, uh, into the mesh there. Pretty much all going through, right through the machine, right through the mesh. Now on average, any, pretty much most juicers will yield about, you know, one cup of juice for one pound of produce. Well, it, well carrots anyway. Your, your yield may vary when you're using other kinds of produce. So we're almost halfway done juicing all these carrots. And now you can see some residual pulp getting stuck in the strainer there. So this is one way to deal with the pulp, you know, as it comes out of the machine, you can just catch it and discard it. That being said, you know, there's nothing wrong with drinking the pulpy juice. It's just like a taste preference. Some people just really don't like, you know, any, you know, grit in their juice. But I think it's fine. And there has been studies that show, you know, if there's extra pulp in your juice, your juice will actually last longer and actually keep its nutrition because there's protective qualities in the fiber. Let's go ahead and uh, finish up. We have one more carrot now to push into the uh, Liquid Mini 110.5. And that's it. That's all the carrots in the Liquid Mini. We're going to go ahead and turn that machine off. And then we're going to go ahead and tip this machine up. Get all the juice to come out of the uh, Liquid Mini there. Shake it around a little bit. And you can see here, you know, there is a little bit of pulp in this strainer. I'm kind of moving the strainer around to get all the juice out and leave all the pulp inside the strainer here. And you know now let's why don't we just let that hang out, drain out a little bit more while we're juicing in the Omega Vert 330 HD. Let's go ahead and turn this machine on. Once again this machine is a lot more quiet. We're just going to dump one carrot in at a time. And the one thing I like about the Omega Vert is that this unit is pretty much self-feeding. You dump a carrot in there, go ahead and grab your next one. And you know, you easily just drop it in and it just takes it right in, sucks it in, and juices it up. So in many cases, no pusher is required. That being said, you know, sometimes you will have to use a pusher. So that's juicing up so good, so far so good. Um, you know, I'm not seeing a whole lot of residual pulp in the uh, pulp catch 
uh, strainer there, I'm starting to see a little bit build up as we're juicing the two pounds of carrots. Now, carrots are very high in carotenoids. Carotenoids are basically an excellent antioxidant. It's really good for you. And if you drink too much carrot juice, don't be alarmed if you turn orange. Because <laughs> that does happen to some people. But those carotenoids basically change the color of your skin. Hey, I look a little bit orange. Um, change the color of your skin a little bit because they basically give you protection from the inside out. So the carotenoids in carrots and in other fruits and vegetables basically provide your body with protection. The carotenoids in carrots and other antioxidants provide you with some protection from things like the sun and also things like free radical damage. So, you know, carrot juice and fresh vegetable juices, anti-aging. Definitely good to stay younger, longer. So as you can see here, wow, you know, we're juicing here and we're gonna go ahead and move that screen a little bit to see. We're almost done actually juicing with the Omega Vert and you know, there really isn't that much pulp being generated. This is pretty amazing. Because normally they say, oh, the Omega Vert makes so much pulp. You know, and it does make more pulp than some other juicers. And the main reason for the pulp is because one main reason. The screens on the different machines, sometimes the screen have smaller screen holes. The smaller the hole on the juicing screen, generally the less pulp that gets through. So the, uh, the screen on the Liquid Mini, much smaller than on the Omega Vert. Uh, 330 HD. That being said, looks like we're all juiced up here. Whoa, we've got an overflow situation here. I wasn't paying attention. So uh, the time to turn off the Omega Vert is once all the pulp stops to flow out of the machine. Even though you put that last carrot in, you need to let it run you know, maybe like another minute to allow it to basically push and extract all the juice out of that last carrot that you push, pushed in there. Looks like we stopped. Looks like we're pretty good. We're going to go ahead and tip this baby up a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead, just like we did on the uh, Liquid Mini, move this around a little bit. So as you can see there, uh, we got the pulp here in the Liquid Mini, and we got some pulp here. Now the pulp in the Omega Vert's like, you know, a big chunk of pulp that's kind of rolling around, like a roly-poly pulp. Kind of reminds me of Silly Putty, actually. <laughs> but it's a roly-poly pulp bin. And you know, there is a little bit more pulp in the Omega Vert juice than in the Liquid Mini 110.5. That being said, if you don't like the pulp, you know, once again, get a strainer like this at your local department store, put it over your juice catch cup as you're juicing, all the pulp will be caught in the strainer and then you will have a pulp free juice. Let's go ahead and move these aside. So let's take a look at the yields. Looks like on the Omega Vert juicer it yielded one and one thirds cup out of approximately two pounds of carrots and on the Lequip Mini it yields uh, one and two thirds cup uh, cups of uh, carrot juice. Let's go ahead and taste it up, taste test. Mmm, that's a delicious carrot juice. Let's taste this one. Mmm. They both taste good to me. That being said, the Liquid Mini, because it does run at a higher RPMs, tends to oxidize the juice more. So there's a little more air in this machine, uh, in this juice, than from the Omega Vert 330 HD. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode learning about which of these two juicers makes more pulp and makes more juice. So in this case, the Omega Vert 330 HD made more pulp and made less juice, and the Liquid 110.5 made more juice and less pulp. So once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.